So on number 14, we need to find the distance between each pair of points. I'm going to show you an alternative method to the distance formula, but it kind of still is the distance formula. We're going to look at it as though it were a slope. All right, so we look at the change in the axes. Let me make that a little bit bigger. That's better. And we see that it increased by 90. And the increase of the y's, of the x's rather, looks like that is 45. So if we square these, that, by the way, those are the lengths of the lex right there. So if we square them and add them, then we should have the hypotenuse squared. Like this. So let's go ahead and square those. Now let's go ahead and add those two together. Now at this point we just want C though. So got to get rid of that C squared stuff by square rooting it. And we got to square root both sides then. That gives us C. And what does that give us, Veronica? Right if you want to write the exact value, you could write 45 times the square root of 5. But you can approximate this. I guess we can use the curvy lines like these. And write 100.6. Yeah, that'll work. 100.6. That is the distance approximately between these two points, or this one, right? Right here. But yeah, if you write either one of these on the test, you'd be good.